These are what we call the front neighbours. They've recently been evicted. They're also the ones who have the coffin. This is unit one. They got forensic investigators or something. I don't know what, but you can still see the powder on the window. That's them. We have unit two. Unit two has been missing since November. They've actually been missing for so long that cobwebs have grown over their front door. They're international students, so we think they might, they might be locked down in China, but their washing is still on the line, which is very mysterious. This is us. This is unit four, which I think is empty, and unit five, which is collecting rubbish and also collecting the bins. And that's another mystery. But this is us, and we're nice. Is our downstairs it's pretty small and it's open plan uh, but it's very cozy we've got a little post table and all our green bags so that we don't go to the shops without them we've then got our um, bookshelves and our board game collection down here we've then got a very space efficient little laundry tucked away but it has everything that we need and it does its job We've then got a feature I wasn't going to put in the video because it's weird, but Alex, who knows about it, told me to put it in. We have a tiny toilet and it's kind of in the middle of the living room um, and it's just a toilet. It doesn't have a sink or anything like that. Um, it's just very weird. Um, so mostly we use it as a place to store the excess toilet paper, which is an important thing to have in this day and age. We've then got um, kind of the living space, which has been where well, we've been hanging out most of the time that we've been all at home recently. So we've got a few projects on the go. My housemates have been doing puzzles. I think this is like their sixth. So that is coming along nicely. We've got a few different crochet projects happening. And then this is the one plant that I've been able to successfully keep alive for more than a year. So I'm very excited about that. We've got um, three couches for three people, which is really nice. And now that it's um, getting colder, we've got a couch doona for every couch. So it's been extremely cozy down here. This is our kind of DVD collection, um, our recycling, our pantry. And then this is our fridge. It has a lot of compassion magnets. I may have taken some extras one time from the mail room. Um, it has lots of nice things on it. Um, and one of the most useful is our dinner roster. So every day, we write, well, at the beginning of every week, we write down who is going to be home for each meal, who is cooking each meal, and what they're cooking. So we're all very well informed and very organized. We've then got our um, kitchen, which has everything that we need. And for those of you who think that I'm organized, you should meet my housemate, Lucy, who has cooked sticky date pudding, so she's the best. But she also um, alphabetizes the spices because she says they're much easier to find, which is true, but I've never done that before. She's awesome. We've then got our dining table. We don't really use it, to be honest. We eat most of our meals on the couch just because it's a bit squeezed away over here. Um, but we have it, we mostly use it to store stuff got an extremely organized shoe storage system. We've got a little bit of outdoor space, which has been really nice being at home so much. It's very windy today. Um, we've got a table where we can eat some of our meals, a few plants, a washing line that unfortunately doesn't see heaps of sun because of the building next door, but it's blue skies today, um, which is lovely. Yeah, so that's the hall downstairs. And then if we come upstairs, We have our normal sized upstairs toilet. And then we have my room. So we all have these little matching door signs that we got from going to a wedding together, which is cute. We've got a mirror, bits and pieces, bedside table, currently reading pile, bed, little desk and work set up which has been working nicely. It's been really nice as well having such a huge window. Even though the view is actually mostly of some other townhouses, when you sit down at desk height, it's all of trees, which is lovely. Wardrobe, lots more photos. Actually, 
color coordinated my wardrobe when I was very bored the other day. So it's now extra organized. Coming into the hallway, we have a huge linen closet, which has been nice and is fully in use by the three of us. And then we've got Lucy's room, she's not here, but it's clean. Mixed room, she's also not here, but I'm not sure if it's clean. And then the bathroom. The bathroom has everything that you would normally want a bathroom to have. Bath, sink and shower, but it has a few extra features. So I have a very serious fear of getting locked in here because it's happened before and it has no windows and no one would know. So I keep trail mix and I also keep an emergency phone charger under the sink so that I can call for help and I've got a food source. Anyway, that's the ins and outs of our house tour, so I hope you enjoyed that.